Welcome or welcome back to our channel, Annie Plus Luke, and to our Alaskan Cruise series. If you missed our previous two videos in this series, whale watching and glacier viewing, check those out. I will link them in the description box below. This video covers the scenic cruising inside the Endicott Arm Fjord of the Alaskan Inside Passage. Unfortunately, we didn't get to stay in the Endicott Arm for as long as advertised by Royal Caribbean, but in my opinion, the entire Inside Passage was beautiful, and we spent much time out on, our, on the comfort of our balconies watching it, so it's still a great way to see the majestic Alaskan landscapes. Iceberg dead ahead. Got a little bit of low-lying clouds in the end of cut arm this morning. It's like 5 a.m. Alaska time. And we are out here chiggity chiggity checking it out. And they've got the the premium experience of the North Star going, I think it's like $69 a person to do here in the Endicott Arm today. It's alright, I can see the icebergs just fine from my balcony. I'm on deck 8, by the way, in case you're wondering. So I'm pretty sure we just hit one of those icebergs. been that much ice. No. You know, 90% of it is under the water, right? <laughs> yeah. Steel now is a lot better than it was in 1912. <laughs> we feel like we've basically come to a stop, but we'll see. I don't know. I thought maybe they were about to make an announcement, but now I don't hear anyone talking. already turning and it's only like six o'clock we think we've only been in the fjord a few miles i'm pretty sure that's the opening so we didn't make it anywhere near dodd's glacier but it is impressive how this giant ship can turn on a dime right next to the ship. I'm still enjoying myself, even if we didn't get that close to the glacier. So we left uh, the Endicott arm. We are now on our way to Juneau. 
And I just wanted to give you a little, little piece of advice if you're going to do a inside passage cruise, especially if you're going to do one on a larger ship like this one. If you're going to do an Alaska cruise, an inside passage cruise on a bigger ship like this one, just know that probably you will really only have about one hour of scenic cruising in the fjord, the Endicott Arm. That's all we had. It was advertised as being from 5 a.m. to like 9 or 10 a.m. And I'm glad I got up at 5 a.m. because we really were only in the Endicott Arm from about 5 to 6.37. Um, so that's the part you're really excited for, you really wanna see. Make sure you get up at five and come outside to see it before you leave because they turn the ship around and they come right back out of there really quickly. They said it was because of ice. I think it's because of fuel because we went to Sitka instead of Skagway on this trip because of the landslides at the dock at Skagway. That's my tip for you. Get up at five and check it out so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and appreciated the tips we gave, please give this video a like by clicking the thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss the rest of our Alaskan Cruise Series videos coming up as well as future travel videos.